Well, we've got the car up in the air again. Brett is out here helping me out. We're going to take off the long tube headers, take them into polydyne performance coatings and get ceramic coating on them. So without hesitation, let's get this video started. Well, as you can tell by the title and by my intro, I've been having a ton of problems related to heat and the starter. Uh, basically, if I drive the car for any period of time and then stop it and then try to start it back up again, it, I mean, just barely starts. It won't, you know, get that real slow start. It's probably about to fry another starter again. This one's on the brink of going out totally. So we're gonna take off the starter, get it replaced. It's under a one-year warranty and also take off the headers, get them ceramic coated so we don't have this problem in the future. Uh, I am also gonna put on a DEI heat shield. Hopefully with the combo of the heat shield and the ceramic coating, we'll be able to take out a lot of the heat problem, lower the underhood temperatures. Uh, it's gonna be all kinds of beneficial for the car. And by the way, uh, the shop I went with, I I'd called Modern Airflow Dynamics. I know they're really, with a lot of the shops around town working with a lot of them and there's a lot of good things being said about them and you know uh, their opinion so I reached out to Modern Airflow I said hey you know anybody that's got a real good deal on you know good ceramic coating I really need them for the headers uh, Trey there at Modern Airflow recommended that I reach out to a company called Polydyne Performance Coatings and I'm going to put a link to everything in the description. So there's an address to uh, Polydyne Performance Coatings, their phone number, all that's in the description. I highly recommend uh, you, you look them up if you're needing ceramic coating in the Houston area. I was shocked at the history behind their company, how long they've been around and in business, and how good of a shop it was and being a family-owned business and all that. Before we get too much further in the video, though, Please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe below. As I always mention, that helps my channel and helps my videos to grow. Uh, just to start this off, I already have taken off the headers and actually got them back in front of me, but just wanted to go over kind of the process we went through. You know, what transpired to get the headers off the car and what you're going to have to do if you're attempting this in your garage at home. If you're used to turning the wrench and stuff on cars, this isn't too bad of a job. Uh, it was kind of aggravating at times trying to figure out how to get the stuff out and we had to remove pipes we moved them removed the midsection which founding out afterward we may not have had to have done that uh, but you are going to need to remove on the driver's side this oil and water cooler basically radiator fluid goes in one of these holes oil in the other and helps keep your oil clean or cool in the car you are going to need to remove that just in order to get uh, to swing the header out and then down. Uh, we also had to use not just the jack stands and stuff, but you can see a jack here. When we got to the point of taking the headers down, we had to lift it up even higher just to get clearance to swing the header pipe down and then out. You'll see if you're trying to attempt this what I'm talking about. Now on the passenger side, because this is a dry sump system. Here's your dry sump right here. You're gonna have two lines that go between this dry sump and your motor. Uh, you are gonna need to remove those two lines in order to get this side's header off. And I uh, went ahead and purchased these. Might as well, ARP are awesome bolts. And uh, these are ARP header bolts for LS. Hopefully these are the right ones. We'll see when we get the other ones off. And I'll put a link in the description to the one you need once I verify it for the LS9. I do want to give a special thank you to Polydown Performance Coatings for allowing me to do a tour of their shop. I also want to give a special thank you to Roger and Eddie for coming out and helping me out with this car. I could not have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to go over now that I've got the headers off. I'll show you a picture of what they look like. I'll go over the tour of the Polydown Performance Shop. And just so y'all know, this company's been around since 19... 
79, 41 years they've been in business. Uh, I don't know of any other coding company in Houston, maybe there is, but I don't know about it, that's been open for that amount of time. Uh, they actually got their technology from NASA, and it was used in a lot of the early race car teams and currently on race car teams now. You could see in their lobby, and I'll give you all a quick view here of what their lobby looked like. I mean, you walk into this place, you just had that feeling like there's race car history that had been made at, at this shop. And uh, it told me I was at the right spot. <laughs> but as you can see, all these cars that, that they've done coatings for and so forth, it was just amazing. Uh, and talking to this, this guy, it's a family owned business. I think his daughter's working the counter. And then uh, Carl, of course, running the business. Really good guy. They do excellent work. You know, they put pride in everything they do. You could tell by the way they acted about the business and their product. So uh, if you're in Houston, you need coatings, or maybe you're not in Houston, I'm sure they take shipping. But if you need coatings, performance coatings, whether it be for pistons, uh, carburetors, intakes, uh, connecting rods, you name it, heads, or like me, I'm doing the exhaust manifold. Uh, if you need any kind of coatings for all that different stuff, you know, hit them up, Polydon Performance. All right, well, here's what the headers look like when I got them back. They are just freaking awesome. If this was the middle color that Carl recommended and said they were selling a lot of, and I can see why, I love it. It looks good, it's gonna look great with the car. But number one reason I'm getting it, it's gonna lower the temperatures and stop from frying the starters. But can't wait to get these on the car. I may actually save that for a different video and give you all an on the car footage and driving experience uh, full review in a separate video to this one. And I'm also going to show you all some other stuff that I did underneath the car and show off of course the starter heat shield and all that once it's done. Thank you all so much for watching my videos. As I mentioned, thank you again Eddie, thanks Roger for helping me out getting these off the car. And thank you guys for watching my videos. I hope all of y'all have a great week.